Welcome to this second screencast looking at current climate change. And if you think back to the graph from the previous one, we're interested, this is really explain, seeking to explain the last kind of hundred years, and it's understanding the modern reasons for climate change occurring. So, what have we got? Well, we've got the basic concepts, and the first concept is this, is that we are changing the levels of atmospheric gases. Uh, we're changing two in particular, carbon dioxide and methane. And what these do is trap heat in by absorbing long-wave radiation. Now, we need these naturally to actually keep us warm. The problem is, as we thicken those layers, we're actually trapping more heat in, and the short-wave radiation isn't getting out of the atmosphere, and as a consequence, we should be get we will be getting warmer. Okay, the natural greenhouse effect is important. Natural greenhouse effect is what keeps us warm naturally, whereas it is the enhanced greenhouse effect, which is what is the process which is actually causing us to heat up more quickly in recent years. So there's two reasons for this. The first is the burning of fossil fuels. Okay, and this is occurring due to two things. One, we're increasing our use of power stations, and two, we're increasing our car ownership. Um, both of the burning of fossil fuels, of coal, oil and natural gas, releases carbon dioxide. And you can see a couple of things. Power generation accounts for 25% of all global carbon dioxide, and in China, 75% of their energy comes from coal, which is a very dirty fuel and releases more le higher, higher levels of carbon dioxide. Um, another example below, you've got car ownership. In Delhi, car ownership's gone in 1970 of half a million to five million in 2008 and as the world's population goes up car ownership and our power demands are going to go up with it so we're going to, therefore we're going to release more carbon dioxide the second factor is methane and methane makes up 20 percent of all greenhouse gases and there's a couple of things here number one Every time we mine in the ground, we are actually releasing methane because the ground actually traps something called fossil methane. And mining accounts for 30% of all methane released. The second thing is the fact that as our global population goes up, our food production is going up with it. Now, food production uh, leads to two things. Number one, growing more meat, which leads to uh, increased uh, methane output due to the farming of more cattle. And secondly, um, increased population in particularly areas of Southeast Asia leads to increased rice production. And the growing of rice leads to high level of methane release. And so you've got these two main problems which are causing uh, like the more recent climate change. Now let's have a look at an exam question. Outline how fossil fuels have caused the increase in CO2 emissions. Pause the video and have a crack at answering that please. Right, so let's have a look at an example. Okay, this is an example which got full marks. Um, and the key thing is they are referring to the burning of fossil fuels and how this is increasing in certain countries. Note the specific detail to ensure that they're getting the points. That is what is actually pushing them over the edge and getting them to the actual highest marks. So that's very, very important. This is a bad answer. Um, they get credit for the reference to burning fossil fuels and they also get a credit for naming the fossil fuel but after that it goes downhill very very quickly um, because they start talking about how um, fossil fuels are causing climate change and that is not what the question is asking, they're asking why they're increasing okay so it's important to actually be aware of that so hopefully that's helped you understand this section